of this year. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> Ramatulai, do you need to make a camera? Okay, Jennifer, Fred, she need to put her camera. It's a live cooking show. I need to see everybody. So people who hide behind, choose the name, me don't like. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Hello, Jerry. Okay. Mm -hmm. Noah, it is so good to see you in the kitchen again. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> so good to see you. I love your kitchen. It's very nice. Thank you. I look like my next time I'm gonna have my cooking class over there. Come on. <laughs> we would love that. Oh. Yeah, it's beautiful. Thanks. And so is yours. I don't know. I don't know. Hold on. <laughs>
We can't hear you. Okay, I'm getting there. You had mute the thing. It's just the microphone. Okay, I can hear you. Is hello, Mawa? Can you hear me? I can't hear Mawa. Mawa, can you hear me? Mawa, can you hear me? I can't hear you. Yeah, I can't hear Mel. I don't know. I see. So people texting, I can't hear her. Mm -hmm. But everything is good. We should be able to hear her. Hey, I can hear you, Chris. Yes, you see, they can hear you. But I can't hear Mawa. Uh, oh, Chris is just saying that he can't hear Mawa. Right, no, I can't hear Mawa. Oh, hi, Jen. <laughs> Um, but but we we can hear then Daniel. So then yes, you can. You should be able to hear Moa. I can't. I, I can't. Huh. Yeah, neither. Yeah. Wait. Do other people hear Moa? No, nobody can hear Moa. So then that's not your issue. Nobody can hear Moa. Technology is fun. And that's a dog fight. But Jennifer, can you hear me? Uh, yeah, I can hear someone. <laughs> that was Cindy. That's me, Chris. OK. Hey, sir. OK. I can hear someone. I can't. That's me. That's me. Okay. Yes, I can hear you. I don't know. I can't hear anyone else talking. I know. I, it's it just looks like, um, it looks like many people are on mute. It says Isabella's on mute. Jennifer is on mute. Can you hear me? Alfred? Okay, there you go. Okay, so how? where's Mawa? How come I can't hear Mawa? I think she's on mute. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, look, it says mute. No, that's her different one. Oh. I think she logged off and she's going to log off. Oh, probably yeah, she had to read the news. I see her now. Probably had to read the news. Okay, and now it says Tracy and Barbara are on mute too. So you Hi, people. Mute. Introduce yourself. That's good. Oh, there's oh, hey, Mawa. Mawa. <laughs> now I can hear Mawa. So. <laughs> okay, so we have Rebecca, we have Cindy, we have Jerry. I don't know where she we is. We have but... Isabel Orr. Oh, we have Jennifer Pondera. We have Alfred Lafa and Tracy Madog, Mark <laughs> Bailey, and everybody else that I don't oh, see no, no. my screen because my screen can only take a few people. Okay, sorry. And I can see Barbara. Okay, and I can see Natalie. I can see Jennifer. Jennifer, <laughs> I can see you. Everybody else? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, there's some people that have mute symbols next to their name. Oh, uh, well, happy anniversary. Thank you, darling. Thank you, thank you. God bless. God bless. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't know. I can't believe I made it eight years. Oh, yeah. yeah. What? Take a lot of drinking. Okay, okay so can, can we start, start now? now? Yes. Okay, so I was saying, welcome, welcome to our cooking show. And today we are traveling to Peru. I hope you have all your ingredients. <laughs> so before we start, I want to thank our sponsor, okay? One Snowmass in Bays Village, Silver Peak, okay? Brian Larson, okay? Production and my lovely husband and my lovely, lovely brother. They are all backstage over there, okay? So that's done. So let's focus on the real thing. So, has anybody been to Peru? Who been to Peru? Ooh, that's good. So you all know Pisco. Have you ever drink Pisco? No. Yes. Okay, we have a pro. 
Okay, so unmute yourself if you want to talk to me. Okay? <laughs> so the screen, all the name that I say, that's what I'm taking. Everybody else, next time. Okay? So, oh, hi, my sister, Rama. Hi, from France. It's three o'clock in the morning. She's there. Thank you. Okay, Chris. Chris Yo. is my dear friend. We went to Peru together. Okay, I like five star hotel. They make me do backpack. That's what you <laughs> <laughs> Backpack. I am not a backpack girl. I know I look like one, but I'm not. I like my five star. I love my nice hotel, but it was so much fun. Hi, Chris. So, Chris is going to show hey. us how to do Pixco. Yes, right? that's right. So, yeah. what's the first thing we need? Well, so we have our Pisco and Pisco is kind of hard to find in this country sometimes, but sometimes you can find it from most liquor stores and you'll find a bottle that says Quebranta on the, on the bottle, right? That's the most popular okay. uh, varietal. And what that is, that's a grape. So Pisco in general is, it's a fermented wine. I mean, it's a, it's a spirit that's made from wine, right? So okay. it, there's eight different varietals. So we're going to use Quebranta for this recipe, right? Quebranta okay, I'm going to that... use Caravendo. Okay, so there's, air, there's aromatic varietals and there's non-aromatic. As long as you use a non-aromatic, and Quebranta tends to be the most popular one that you can find, right? Now, oh, okay. Let, let, every, me, let me see other people's. Everybody need to show me their bottle. Okay, that's good, that's good. Yeah. Okay, uh-huh. They don't have it's, that name. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's all good. Don't worry. Uh, There's many different varietals. It's okay. As long as, I mean, most times you're drinking Pisco and Neat, and that's the only time you can really tell. But generally, at bars in Peru, all over bodegas and such, they're uh -huh. going to use Quebranta is going to be the base spirit for this particular drink. That's all awesome. Right. So, on uh -huh. top of that, I have that. On top of that, you're going to need um, some fresh squeezed limes, right? You're going to okay. need, you're gonna need that. egg white which we're going to get from our egg here. You're okay, need, um, I got that too. Simple syrup, which I just made some uh, here. So okay. anyone's not aware, you can just make it at home with one part sugar, one part uh, boiling water. Mm. And then okay. we have our, for a finishing touch, we have our bitters here. Okay. Bitter, so okay. I just, I'm just using old fashioned aromatic one. bitters, right? For, okay. this, for this drink, you want to use a uh, shaker, a Boston shaker, right? Two pieces. Oh, I don't gender. even have a shaker. It's okay. Now, some, okay. some places some places you'll see this shaker here. It's best if you use one of these guys. All right. So, to get started, I like to use about a six-ounce glass. Uh, personally, hey, I Hold on, Chris. Enjoy... Chris, I yes. have a blender here. What is that for? I a thought I needed a blender. No, it's a shake and drink. Yeah. <laughs> but you can use a you can use you can use a blender if you want. That's fine. But okay, if, well, you're, not... if you're gonna, if you're gonna if you're gonna blend it with ice though, it's gonna come yeah. out like a frozen margarita. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. But that's not the one we we had in Peru. No, there's some people that will use blenders, but most places will do hand shaking if you're going to a, real, a nice bar. Remember when we went okay. to the one in Cusco where we had like the big, the nice drinks and everything? They're doing mm -hmm. hand shaking stuff, right? Okay. Now, the glass that you're going to want is about six ounces. I'm using for this particular recipe, and I'm going to use, I like to use these stimless uh, martini glasses here, like something okay. like this, right? I put mm -hmm. the ice cubes to start in the glass just to chill out the glass, right? Uh huh. Now, we're going to start building our drink with the the uh egg first and we're going to give that a dry shake you want the egg to get some froth and i know most people when they hear about pisco sours and the egg white that's in it they kind of get turned off really the texture is really unique and it's something that's really fun to have in the drink i think so to get that certain type of froth you really need to get a dry shake first so okay crack, so crack chris it. Yes. So you are doing on the, on this, and I'm gonna do mine in a blender. So you need yeah, to guide sure. me too. Okay, that that works. So what do I start yeah. with? So for if anyone's doing a hit, like the shake and drink that I'm doing, we need to do this first. You crack your egg, and you just be very gentle. You just want the egg white to drop in. Egg white. 
and you're just controlling the egg, moving it around until the egg white just falls out of the shell. Nice and easy. You don't got to push or shake it or anything. Nice mm -hmm. and easy until it all completely comes out, right? Now, now you can do this. Now you can do this on your blender as well. Um, but for the people that are handshaking, like I'm going to do. Her. Yeah. I got mine. <laughs> Perfect. Now, what I was referring with the dry shake. Now we're going to shake up that egg first because that'll give us some, ah. some more body. So you want to take this dry, just dry, shake it eight seconds, just kind of hard over your head like this. That's it. We're just going to shake that egg. That's it. With ice now, or no ice? Nothing. That's called a dry shake. You just want the egg to get a little froth. Now we're going to start building our liquid stuff, right? Okay. I use a jigger. Everyone has a jigger or something to measure with, right? Okay. We're gonna do, we got it. We're going to do what I call two, one, one. Okay. Okay. Two, two ounces of Pisco, one ounce of okay. fresh squeezed lime, one ounce okay. of simple syrup. Okay. 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 So we're going with our Pisco now. One ounce. Pisco. One ounce. Two ounce. Okay, we got that. I'm going to cut my lime. One first. and two. Yes. Okay. Okay, we need our lime now. You know, key limes are best for this because in Peru, they have particular limes. You've seen that, Mawa. They have the real small ones. Um, yes. The larger ones tend to have more tartness to them. So I okay. try to get as small as I can. Usually key limes are the best. So we're going to squeeze okay. one ounce of fresh lime. So generally okay. you can do about one lime, depending on the size, will equal one Okay, ounce. one lime. And remember, don't squeeze it too hard because you're going to get some of that tartness from the rind, which you don't want. Okay. So I'm going to use one lime to get that perfect ounce. So there we go. I got about just shy of an ounce there, but that's okay. I'm going to use that. Okay. There's my lime, okay? So now the, the second one. I'm going to use my, my simple syrup that I just made here, and I'm going to pour one ounce. Simple syrup, one ounce. All right, there we go. Now the ice that's in the glass, you can go ahead, toss it in. Now your glass is nice and hold chilled. On, hold on, Chris, hold on. How many ice? I'm using four cubes, whatever fits in your glass. Now to start with, about five minutes before, you can just toss the ice in your glass. It's usually about three or four ice cubes toss that same ice in the drink. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. We're going to shake it up. All right. Now this shake is going to be 20 seconds at least. It's going to be pretty hard. Your you know, you got to go over your head pretty aggressively. So but when you, really you put the beater? With the margarita, I mean, with the mixer, you're just going to mix it for five, 10 seconds. You don't need to do what I'm doing. Right. But for anyone that's doing it by hand, you're going to need to aggressively mix it for about 20 seconds. Okay. Yeah, put all your anger in there. It's a good, it's a good therapy. <laughs> okay, so I'm doing toys. Okay, Zach, all I right. need help here. All right. So you're going to go in the blender we're gonna blend good this. Mawa? yes all one right one second yeah yeah no problem for anyone that's using oh. the uh the box you just want to hold back the ice right so you just want to crack it until it pours out like this see that hmm. oh that's a pro <laughs> see that in the perfect if you have about a six ounce glass it's going to go almost to the top there That is awesome! All right, now. My hand is tired. You, you see the texture? Yes, it's very foamy. Yeah, so that okay. egg white, if you let it sit for about five, 10 seconds, it'll kind of separate. Yeah. And it gives it a kind of, uh, it's visually pleasing. Hold on, hold on, Chris, hold on. Good. Okay, yeah. so. I'm shaking it. And he's yeah. blending it. I'm Perfect. shaking it. Shake I'm it shaking out. it. This is my workout. Yeah. I'm losing like five pounds. Perfect. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Also, 
Um, I got it. Remember, pour it, holding back the ice cubes. You don't want any ice in it. Uh, okay. If you're, hand, if you're hand shaking it. Okay. So now, the last touch. Because Making there's a mess. in this drink, right? Because there's some egg white, we're putting something that's aromatic, right? We're going to use bitters. Just one. Oh, I'll wait till Mala's excitement calms down for a second. <laughs> she gets pumped up. I love it. <laughs> okay. All right. Now the last touch. We're gonna use our bitters because we just had an egg white, right? So right. when you're drinking, this is just this is for aromatic reasons, right? So you're just gonna put about one, two or three dashes, depending on the size. You don't want too much. It's not for okay. taste. One, two, three, that's it. Sometimes at bars, they'll take a little toothpick. Okay. You can take a little toothpick and do kind of little lines with it or any designs you want. Traditionally, you want it to look like this, right? Just on the top like oh, that. Oh, beautiful. Now look at the texture, the body's good. That's your Pisco cell. Oh my God, thank you so much, Chris. Yeah. Chris. <laughs> thank oh, thank you. you. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Salute. Oh my God. Look at my I did it. I did it. Yes. Let me see. Okay, now let's try. Close okay. Up. Close up. Let me see. Mm. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to finish this class today. <laughs> so if you haven't made it, it's a must. Mm mm. <laughs> mm mm. Hey, it's good you're doing this before the Lomo Saltado. <laughs> yes. And Chris, are you going to show yeah. us some variation in half an hour? If you can show us some variation of the variation Pisco, of another one? Of Pisco? Pisco? Yeah, you know? Well, if flavor? so for if you travel through Peru, you learn about Pisco, right? And as I was mentioning, mm. I was alluding to, there's two different uh, groups, right? There's aromatic, non-aromatic, and it breaks down kind of like wine. You have your, mm -hmm. your different varietals that are aromatics that are more pleasing on the nose. You're going to use something like this, right? You're going to use like a sherry oh. glass, right? And then you're just kind of, you're, you're drinking it neat because you're taking in, you're taking in those flavors on the nose, right? And then sometimes mm -hmm. you're going to drink something like quebranta. If it's a really nice quebranta, you're going to drink it neat too. Even though it's a non-aromatic, you're going to get a lot of nice, nice nuttiness, some chocolate, some banana. Um, it has mm -hmm. kind of like a, a tequila-like structure to it. So a lot of times you drink Pisco neat. Actually, most Peruvians will drink it neat. Pisco sour oh. is the one major cocktail, right? Now there's other uh -huh. variations. You can do you can do passion fruit, add passion fruit to it. And then there's something oh. called a chilcano. And a chilcano is another classic drink. And it's essentially like, it's got tonic and um, uh, lime and simple syrup as well. Very simple. But anyways, this is the most, this is the classic drink. You're gonna find this everywhere in Peru. So. I mean, I can show you a Chilcano. I just don't have anything for it. But it's basically just seltzer, lime, simple syrup, pisco. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Chris. You're the best. Here. Yes, no problem. OK, everybody show Chris your drink, OK? Oh, yeah, so look at this. Everybody's drinking. Yeah. Thank so you, you so much. Why are you all this green? <laughs> So you see, if you use a six ounce glass like I did, you can almost get it to the top with that exact recipe. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. really good this cool, is right? a good recipe. Awesome. Awesome. Thank Sweet. you, Chris. Yeah, no worries. But stay right, tuned well, for questions. Uh, good luck uh, with the rest of the cooking class and I'm gonna check it out online. Okay, all right. I all see right. you later. Hey, thanks for having me. Enjoy everyone. Cheers. Thank Chris. you. Thank you, Chris. Okay. <laughs> Okay. So, let's talk about cooking. Let's talk about ceviche. So, there is two types of ceviche, as you know. There is a Peruvian ceviche, and then there is the ceviche that you, we have here, uh, Mexican ceviche, okay? Most of Mexican ceviches, sweets, okay? You, you know, they put pineapple, uh, mangoes, some um, stuff. Cindy, I'm not ready yet. <laughs> she already made hers. <laughs> so today we are making, um, what, what are we are making? We are making Peruvian. 
ceviche. So you have your lime, onion. So there's something that they do that the Mexican ceviche doesn't have is leche de tigre, okay? We're gonna cheat a little bit. So please, I need all your ingredients out. Okay, you should have either fish or um, shrimp. I have both, okay? So what we're we gonna start with, we're gonna start with the leche tigre. You need a blender, everybody, okay? Blender. So you're gonna take a little bit of this. My brain went away. What is this? Life. No. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> So <laughs> this is what happened when you you have a second language. Celery. Oh. <laughs> I think I had too much pisco. This is a don't have pisco people cooking. Have it after. Okay. You put a little bit. You have your ginger. You take a little bit of ginger. Okay. The garlic. Put your garlic in there, okay? And then, so you have your recipe, right? You all have your recipe. There's two ways to do this. I'm gonna show, okay, the other way you put everything in a bowl, okay? But you still need to follow the same step, okay? So make sure your onion you put your onion in the cold water because it get it crispy and it's not soggy and it take all the, you know how sometimes it can be hard, you know, smelly. So this is, keep it, make sure you put your onion in cold water like I did here. Okay, for any ceviche. Okay, that's your trick, restaurant trick, okay? So, Right now, I'm making leche de tigre. I have my fish. So I use salt. You can use any fresh white fish. Make sure it's fresh. Try to not use any frozen thing when you want to eat. There you go. Uh-huh. Try to not use any frozen. Any questions so far? How long do you soak the onion, Mala? Oh, 10 minutes, not even. Okay. Is this where we're having cocktails? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so soak your onion if you haven't. Can you use scallops? Yes, you can use scallops. Absolutely. You want your onion sliced? Yes. Yeah. You get your vodka like down? Should I? Huh? Okay. Slice like this. Your vodka? No, nobody's had a drink yet. Oh, yes, they have. <laughs> okay. I'll get it. I'll open it. Jonathan, you know. Okay, we're going to do this together. Okay. What? You are having a roadie. A roadie? Yeah. Do you know what a roadie is? <laughs> okay. So, what are you having? Use white. You have to use red onion. Sure. So, red onion or shallot. Red onion or shallot. Yay. Okay? Yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to make my leche de tigre here. Then I'm going to show you how to make the. Okay. 
I'm going to put a little bit of onion. Okay. I got the garlic. I'm going to put a little bit of salt and yeah. pepper. <laughs> salut, ma belle sœur. Maya. Oh, wanna... salut, yeah. Thank you, Maya. Because ah. when I cook ah. with you, uh -huh. uh -huh. I give. Isabella, I can hear you. When I cook with you, I give the food away to the people that need food here in the valley. Oh, that's so sweet. So every Saturday and Sunday, they know they're going to get Maya's cooking. Oh, that's very nice. That's so sweet. Every day. Awesome. I'm so, sorry. What are we going to do? Ma, what's we're going to blend this? Sorry, okay. Ma. Ma, what was in so, the blender? So what is in the blender? Yes. Celery. Okay. Onion. Oh, okay. Some of the onion. Yeah, oh, some. Garlic. Okay. Ginger. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. So you, you all have it? Yes. Oh, lemon, uh, lime juice. Okay. So what are you doing? Shrimp or, chick uh, doing, or fish? We're doing shrimp. Okay. Shrimp. So throw what, you know, throw a little bit of shrimp, like a tiny bit of shrimp. Okay. In there. That's it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> This is awesome. So we're going to blend it. So, usually they put a little bit of fish stock. If it's, it's not, okay, you put a little bit of water, a little bit of water, okay? Okay, make sure you puree it, okay? It's like this liquid here, okay? The only thing I forgot to do, I didn't put a fish up, a little bit, fish in there. So whatever you are using, if it's shrimp, you put just one shrimp in there. If it's a fish, you put one fish, you know? That's the base of it, okay? I'm gonna do that again. Okay, so my leche de tigre is ready. Now, we are going to do, the first thing you do, okay, I have my fish here and I have my shrimp here. The first thing you do is put salt, okay, on your fish or on your shrimp, okay? Then you're gonna stir it. So I'm doing both. So you stir it. And make sure you use something that's not corrosive. You know, glass bowl are usually the best. Okay. So you mix it. And then you take your mixture. You are pouring your mixture in the fish or 
in the shrimp. Okay? Now, you are going to add the onions. Okay? Add the onion. There you go. And then there is something that I forgot to put in there. I'm gonna put a little bit of ricotto in there. So it's a hot pepper from Peru, okay? You guys don't have it? I have it, okay? They very, they like to use rocoto. You, you use jalapeno, okay? Jalapeno, good for you. They have ai penca, they have ai amarino. So one is yellow, one is red, and then I you put have in, um... super red, okay? So we're gonna put a little bit in there. So how are you guys doing so far? Everybody's following? Great. All good? Okay. I put in put a bunch of extra jalapeno or habaneros. Oh, that's good. I blended them up. You blended it? Yeah. Okay. So you mix them and you put a little bit of celery. Oh, it smells so good. Look, Steve, look. You want this? I need this. This is amazing. You want some food? Yeah. Some great food. Look. I'm busy. All right. I mean, I mean, get some. I'm doing two works here. You got so, right, we're so. going to add more lemon juice. I mean, lime juice, sorry. Steve, I made really good food. Oh. All right. <laughs> Have some of it. Because remember, the lime need to cover whatever ceviche you're making. Please. If it's shrimp, it need to cover the shrimp. So you're gonna put as much lime until you cover the whole thing. I made really good food. Okay. Never made. Now up. Yes. Will you please repeat what you put in the blender? Uh, the ingredients that you put in the blender. Okay, celery, ginger, onion, garlic, and technically uh, lemon lime juice. And uh, you should also put fish stock if you had it. But if you don't have it, you put water. Okay. All right, and, and one shrimp or one scallop or one. Yes. Okay. Yes. Blend it with it. Perfect. Oh so that you don't have to bite into the garlic, the ginger. You can put the whole thing chopped or puree, but you know, you don't have to bite into it. And people are like, oh my God, this is so good. How did you do that? I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> okay. So how your ceviche look looking like? So I need to see some ceviche. I can only see mine. Yeah, Isabel is doing it, is doing it. Okay. Oh, wow, Jennifer is doing it too. Mac. Oh, Mark is doing. So the key also, we don't want the lime. Oh, Tracy, that's look good. We don't want the lime juice. Rebecca, I didn't see yours. Where is yours? <laughs> Ooh, nice. Nice, nice. So, oh, beautiful. I didn't make the oh, my TV. goodness, beautiful. So, I'm still squeezing lemon. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, mine is ready. So all you have to do, if you're having shrimp, make sure you're gonna refrigerate everything, okay? While we're doing the other one, okay? 
Oh, actually, I forgot to put something. Cilantro. Let me get some cilantro. There you go. So you're going to put, if you finish with your ceviche, you're going to put it in a refrigerator while we're making our lomo saltado. Okay. There we go. Oh, this smells so good. Like I want to eat it right now, right now. So when you squeeze your lemon, make sure you don't get all the edges or the oil of the lemon. So you squeeze it only once, okay? Only one. Only once. I need to learn in English. Okay, so my shrimp ceviche is done. I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator, okay? You cannot eat it right now, you have to wait, okay? Because it's not until it get pink. If you're having shrimp, before you eat it, make sure it's pink. Ceviche, okay? Do not eat it right now, it's not ready. So put it back in the refrigerator, okay? You need to be cured. So most of the time, all of you anyway buy frozen shrimp. So there's no problem. You're not gonna, you know, there's no salmonella because it's all been frozen and been manipulated. So you're, you're all good. But make sure before you eat it, it's pink. Okay, that's it. Okay, so put it in a refrigerator. Make sure also that the lime juice cover whatever it is you have, shrimp or fish okay because they need to be cured all right so now i'm gonna put mine to rest shrimp compared to a uh, fish it doesn't fi fish doesn't have to rest that much okay but at least 10 minutes though so i'm putting mine in the refrigerator What color should the scallop be when it's done? White, super white. So it's translucent, okay? Now it's gonna be white, all right? Awesome. So let me clean up my station. I hope you all have sweet potato and corn. If you don't, please make it happen. Boil your corn and boil your sweet potato, okay? Just boil, all right. So I have my corn and my sweet potato that I boil, you know? In Peru, they use something called concha. You know, they have this big corn, but we don't have it here. So I'm just using corn, okay? So I'm gonna take it off the cob. You need to do the same, or you can just use canned corn. But like, it's sad because you know what? This is corn season. So if you can get fresh corn is better. Anything fresh is better. Okay, I'm just saying. Mm, okay, so I got my fresh corn that I'm gonna put in the refrigerator too. Okay, and then I have my sweet potato that I'm going to peel and slice.
Okay, and then, um, so I'm getting this ready. Make sure your sweet potato is cold. We don't need warm corn or warm sweet potato. <laughs> They're all cold. <laughs> so I'm peeling it. All right. And I'm slicing it. That all this, they are going to be my accoutrement. Okay, if you don't know what accoutrement is, it's a French word to say side. You know, it sounds fancy, better than side. Side sounds so ghetto. Accoutrement is better. <laughs> so, I'm done with my ceviche. I put my accoutrement in the refrigerator. So now I'm gonna wash up my surface because some people that I invited can't eat shrimp, okay? So I have to clean up. So my husband had an idea. Next time I'm doing this cooking class, I'm, a, I'm gonna do it at someone else's house because I think it'd be more fun instead of me by, be by myself here. Okay, of course I enjoy all of you. So I'm gonna pick one volunteer for the next cooking class. You get your own private chef, I'm coming to your house. Do you know how much I charge? Nothing, it's awesome. Just make pick sure me, you have pick a stove. Me, pick me. Let's go to Ghana, let's go to Ghana. <laughs> Nothing. So it's gonna be fun to go to each of your house and see how you're doing. It's gonna be fun. And I'm only 10 minutes away, you. girlfriend. 10 minutes away. <laughs> <laughs> Soon as I'm 10 minutes away. Awesome. So let's talk about. Lomo saltado. So you guys know that in Peru, there's such a mixture culture where, you know, there's Anca, there's Asian, there's so many people. So, I mean, it's awesome. Okay. So the Lomo saltado, it's a cross between Asian and uh, Peruvian. Okay. There's a lot of... Um, Uh, Asian fusion over there, and lomo saltado is one. And as you notice in your in your right, in ahead. your recipe book, okay. you need to have French fries. So French fries and rice. Okay, that's the fusion, and the soy sauce, and the ginger. Okay, so everybody has his meat. Everybody has his meat? So I want to show you a trick. If people have an allergy, just flip, wash it, wash it and flip your board. You're all set. Don't have to do anything else. Okay? So, here, what I'm going to do. Everybody can see me? I have my walk. Okay, everybody has his meat, you have your, okay. So let's go through the ingredient because this is going so fast, okay? Everybody cooked his rice. Did you cook your rice? Yes or no? Everybody have the rice cooked? Jonathan, yes. have you cooked your rice, darling? <laughs> okay, if you haven't cooked your rice, please do so. If you haven't cooked your fries, Please do so. Now, thank you. <laughs> Rebecca's like, she's running. <laughs> okay, Cindy, did you cook your rice? Okay. All right. Um, where's Barbara? I don't see Barbara. Can you put Barbara on, please? Barbara and... Um,
<laughs> she was on. And Natalie, it's just Barbara. Okay. So hello, happy Friday. We're muted. Happy now. Friday. Awesome. <laughs> hi, hi. That is awesome. So we have the meat. Okay. Do we have the onion? Onion, tomato, already yes. sliced, okay. Scallion, yeah. okay, already chopped mine. Okay, garlic, yeah. Okay, I'm putting ginger in there. It's not in a recipe, but I'm putting in it. So if you have ginger, get ginger, okay. I also have jalapeno, if you need a little hot, hot. If you don't have um, the ahi amarino, just get jalapeno. Okay, here. this is it. Oh, oh? oh here. Closer. Oh no, that's penka. This is the yellow one. This is what they use, ahi amarino. You can get it on, um, on um, what is that place called? Amazon. Amazon. Okay. Amazon.com. Okay. You need white wine vinegar. Okay. And that's it. Salt and pepper. So shall we start? Everybody's ready? White wine vinegar, Steve. Okay. Where is it? That. May I please have that? Er. <laughs> I got my vinegar. Just realized I forgot my vinegar. God, Steve, you just said that to me. Okay. There we go. I have a question. Yes, darling. How, how big uh, are the strips of meat? Can you show us your meat, please? Yes, I'll show you my meat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure you might be darling. <laughs> I know. Okay. So I have all strip, you know. It's how big you want it to be. Strip. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so what I did, I had leftover beef tenderloin. You know that I clean up, so this is it. So, are you ready? Like I said, this one is gonna go fast. Fast, fast. We all need to do it together. It's more fun when we do it together. So you guys know uh, why I'm doing this cooking? Cooking class. Do you guys know why? Well, maybe you should ask before you join my class. A community that cooks together stays together. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. That's why. Okay. Because in Africa, we always cook together. So we always stay together. Here, you don't cook together. So I want to cook with you. So you stick with me. Okay, so that's what we're doing. We stay together. Okay. Um, but actually, I stole it from a say. There's a say. A family that pray together, stay together. And I just change it. <laughs> I'm so smart. <laughs> so good. Hey, I just trademark it so you can't use it, okay? I'm just saying a community that cook together, stay together. Okay, and in Aspen, we have an international community. Okay, it's not just Aspen. I have people from California, people from France, people from where? Belgium. Maine. Okay, so 
That's it, that our community is big. It's the whole world, okay? So now, oh, by the way, Ellen, you're not allowed to answer this question that I'm gonna ask. Is anybody know where I was born? Queens for you today. Where what? Where I was born. Ghana. Ghana. Oh, possible. Who, who's who's that? Who? Abidjan. Cote d'Ivoire. Oh, okay. Who, who's Cote saying that? I am not. Ghana. Ghana. Tu ne comptes pas. Oh, elle est du Belgique. Cote d'Ivoire. Cote d'Ivoire. Cote d'Ivoire. Okay, I need to choose something else because. I was going to, the person who's going to guess that, I was going to go to the house, but obviously Natalie, who actually know me very well, you know, kind of. <laughs> so I'm gonna get oh, another Oh, Natalie, you little. Yes. So, <laughs> put fire underneath of your pen. Okay, I need someone to put fire here. I don't play with this thing. I don't know how to use it. Just, just Zach, come do something here. <laughs> Natalie. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get something That's else. Next. Okay, we are almost there. This is going to take five minutes. But make sure your pan is super, super, super hot. Okay? Super hot. Okay. We're going to start with oil. Put oil. I'm using a wok because it's the best. So do this. Okay, can you see? Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. My brand new wok. Okay. What kind of oil did you use? Did you vegetable use oil? oil. Vegetable oil. Do not use olive oil. Do not use olive oil. Vegetable oil, peanut oil. Ah, oh, no, you know, you know mm. No. No. Vegetable oil. <laughs> okay. Do you know why you can't use uh, uh, olive oil? Anybody can want to tell me why? It's hot. It would be too hot. It could it burn. It's going to burn. And well, all the, you know, you pay for something that it's going to turn into something else. It's the makeup okay. oil. It's it, it's not good. Yes, it's not good. So please season your beef with salt and pepper, and be generous. Be generous with the salt and pepper, please. Okay. So now, when you see um, my eye creaming, I marinated some smoke the for three days. Coming out of it. Now you're gonna throw in your steak. Oh boy. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna throw in my steak. Oh All right. Can you see it? There we go. All right, make sure you don't put too much, okay? Because it's gonna defeat the purpose. You want it to be nice and seared. So you if you have to do it steak. twice, you can do it twice, okay? Okay, then. Hey. Make sure you have a pen or a container to put your steak. Okay? Actually, I'm going to put it right here. Okay. There we go. Can you see? Mm -mm. I hope you were generous with your salt and pepper. And make sure it's kosher salt. Don't put sea salt in this. Kosher is good for you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Any questions so far? Were we supposed to put okay. the garlic? No, 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 no garlic, no nothing. Okay. Salt and pepper only. Okay. No garlic, no nothing. Mm -mm. 
Sorry. Yes, miss. Awesome. So whose house I'm gonna go to? Whose house I'm gonna go to? Whose house I'm gonna go to? I'm so excited about this. Okay. You know what we're gonna do? Wait, Mawa. We're gonna do like usual. Guessed? Yes. Has has no one guessed where you're from yet? You you don't count either. So <laughs> you can't say nothing. You don't want to come to my house anyway. <laughs> Why are you saying that? Because it's not, it's not there. There's not enough room. There's barely enough room. Fancy. Okay. I don't need a fancy. As long as you have a stove and I can cook, I don't care. Because you don't want to come to my house either. Because it ain't fancy. That's why I'm here in one Slovas. It looks like a beautiful place that I can afford in 20 years when I become a millionaire. <laughs> okay. Like 10 years. Wow. That's awesome. Who's there? Your steak are too big, Cindy. <laughs> Your steak are too big. <laughs> okay, after five minutes, remove it from the stove. Put it in a container. Okay, you're gonna put oil. Okay. Then what they say? Let me read this. Okay. Onion. So you put the onion now. You put the onion, then the garlic. Okay? Onion, then garlic. Awesome. Garlic, I love garlic, so I'll put a lot of garlic. And like I said before, I am going to put a little bit of ginger. I love me some ginger. Okay. There we go. Any questions, people? Any questions, people? So, I figure what I'm going to do, you're going to take a picture, and then you're going to put it on my website. Not my website, Instagram. Instagram okay. or Facebook. Hey, Mama. You're going to tell me, yes? Yeah, um, You're going to tell me why I should go to your house. Okay? So um, the person that gave me a nice appealing. Because I live I will in go. my park. Huh? Oh. Tessie, I can't hear you. Say that again. <laughs> it's a long way for you, but you should come. I live in Winter Park. So it's a long ways for you. I, I know. So you're disqualified. Yeah. Mais moi, je vis à Snowmass et je parle français aussi. Jenny, Jenny can have you at her house. My question, okay. Paula, is yes. do I put the scallions in also or just the red onion? No, no, no. Just the onion. OK. Just the other onion. OK? Can you say how much ginger you used? Just a little bit for flavor. If you like ginger, just put it, put some. <laughs> if you don't like ginger, just put like a teaspoon, no, even a teaspoon, half a teaspoon. Okay. And then you can put your, Ooh. okay, I'm trying to open this ahi amarino here. Okay, I did open it. I'm gonna put a teaspoon. Okay, so if you have it, I like spicy. So, there you go. Ooh, it smells so good. <laughs> okay, now you can put all the other stuff. Okay. Scallion went in. Okay. Mm -hmm. There we go. So, everybody's following? Hey, Are the tomatoes in yet? No. Now I'm going to put the tomato in. 
Okay. There you go. And I have heirloom tomato. They're beautiful. Mm -mm. They are beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. Make, Make sure, sure you, you use biscuit oil. It tastes so much better. better. And, and it's cooked cook faster. Okay. okay. Put salt, salt and pepper. pepper. People, I hope you have your rice ready, yeah? Okay. I go. Okay, now we're going to put our soy. Soy sauce and vinegar. Be generous. Make sure it's gluten-free. I like the gluten-free soy base better. And then if you can't have soy, you can have tamarind. Okay? Tamarind is good. So can you see? It smells so delicious. I can't even stand it. I want to eat it right now. Make sure you have your rice ready. If you didn't have your rice ready, you should be worried. <laughs> sure. mm. This, mm -mm. this is good. So now you're going to put your meat. Don't put no water in there. So I had the leftover eggplant. So I'm gonna throw them in there. So if you have a leftover vegetable, just throw them in there. Your favorite vegetable. It tastes divine. Yes. Vinegar? Yep. Oh, vinegar. <laughs> Do vinegar. We, do we use white vinegar or white wine vinegar? White vinegar or white wine vinegar? White vinegar will do. Okay. Whatever you have. If you have both, white vinegar. Okay. Mm -mm. Look, look, look at my, look, look. Oh, Jennifer, I hope you're proud of me. Look at this. And there's so much sauce, okay? That's the reason why you do it in a wok. Because it's so, smell good, oh. And we haven't even put the cilantro. Wait until we put the cilantro. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, Rebecca, beautiful. Look at this. <laughs> All right. Girl, you're killing it. Okay, I need to see some other plate, some other bowl, okay? I want to see some other people. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, nice. Smell good, right? Did you taste it? Did you taste it? Awesome. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, hey, Isabella, it's beautiful. <laughs> I love it, love it, love it. Tracy, so Tracy says she's from where? Tracy, where are you from? I can't hear Winter Tracy. Winter Park, Colorado. Winter Win Park. Oh, Winter Park, I've Winter never Park. been there. You should come. Maybe I need a vacation in September. <laughs> yeah, so you qualify, girl. Just enter. Okay. I'll be there in September. I will need <laughs> a vacation. <laughs> we would love to have you. What's up? So it should be done. Okay. So this is it. Since it's beef tenderloin, you don't have to cook it. 
too long. Okay? So this is it. I'm going to put it right here on my gargano. Okay? So, whoops. No. Okay. I'm going to leave it right here. So you know what you do? So this is a, such an easy recipe. You don't make this and put it on the side. So what you do is when your guests come, they're there, you, you do a little show, you say, oh, let me show you how I do this, you know? You know, and then be like, oh my God, this is so beautiful. And I'm so, you know? So that's how you do it. You're like, it's so easy. I do that every time, every Friday with Mawa. Easy, I, t I taught her, you know, how to do this. <laughs> Isabella, where are you from? Isabella? We're here in Aspen, but we're- I can't hear. I can't oh. hear. We're here in Aspen, but we're from- uh, In Aspen. But we're, we're we actually- Awesome. Monica. How come I can't hear Isabella? We're <laughs> Isabella, I think, are you on mute? Yeah. Yeah. Unmute yourself. We're muted. No, we're <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So, someone said I was talking too much. But I like to know I'll be more wrong. Wait. Uh, okay. Can you hear me now? So if you haven't put your cilantro, put cilantro. Put cilantro. Okay. 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 All, right. All right. All right. There we go. Now we're going to plate it. I'm not going to play mine. My guests are not here. So. What about the French fries? But I want to see yours plated, ready to go to impress. Okay. Later. Mama, when so, are you? I'm going to show you how to plate the um, ceviche. Is that, so can I hear Isabella now? Yes. Can you hear us? Okay. So. Hmm. I can't hear her. Bella, we can hear you, by the way. My, my headphone is dead, so put the... Uh, oh. uh. Let me switch. I just changed the... We'll put it on top. You need... Okay, now I can hear you, Isabella. Okay, so we're here in Aspen, but we're from Santa Monica. Ooh. If you want to visit in September, the weather's perfect. <laughs> oh, I like that. And, well, and, then and, you should call me because I live in Snowmass Village and we've got two extra rooms. I grew up in Santa Monica. <laughs> oh, you see this? I went to UCLA. Uh-huh. Yeah. I, can't. I love this. Cindy, Cindy Lamar. Why am I not showing? I don't know. I just, oh, I lost. I meet you. That's <laughs> <laughs> well, Mala, when are you going to start breakfast? There we are. That is me. That's we started me. breakfast. We started huh? breakfast. You did? Yes, uh, this tomorrow? week, this week. Okay. Yes. We, yes. <laughs> Can we dream about your breakfast? Oh, uh, thank you. Yes. So we started breakfast. We're doing breakfast, lunch, dinner. Breakfast, okay. lunch, dinner. And they and, have the best brunch. breakfast ever. I know. We, you, know you really do. Thank that, you. That, I appreciate it. I work hard like, on it. We, it's, it's even better. That's awesome. Yeah, I like, I like my breakfast. You know why I have the best breakfast? Because that was my pet peeve when I came here. Is that right? Uh, yes. Oh, my God. And I'm like, why breakfast has to be so greasy, so disgusting, right. and, and gross. no nutrient in it? We're not going to the Hickory House. No. Nope. I mean, <laughs> no mention name. Oh, sorry. Everybody has a target market, but greasy is not my target market. No. Okay. I want something that fuel my body because I work Fresh. a lot. So when I eat breakfast for me, it's the first meal. So it needs to be amazing. I like that t-shirt. Hey, can you take that t-shirt up? I spent color uh -huh. and send it to me. Yay. This is beautiful. Alfred <laughs> Lafar. <laughs> send it to Mawa, okay? Love it. <laughs> Mawa, what about the fries? Oh, you need to put it in there. Oh my gosh, the fries are gonna burn. They're gonna burn. Oh no, no, no. Put the fries in. In the in lomo saltado. Only when you're ready to eat it. Are you ready oh. to eat it, to plate it? Rice, French fries. So, so put the rice in a, 
Let me let me play this. I got my fries. Thank you. You see, I'm talking and I forgot half of my things. I didn't put the fries in. See? Funny. That's okay. Fries, go in. You don't have to put fries in, but it's so good. Okay. This is it. There we go. Hey, we're gonna go. We're it's almost done, and then we're gonna go eat outside. Okay. Make sure you take a picture, and then you put it on Facebook, or uh, Instagram. Okay. So let me play all this. Okay. And then. Because you need to impress your guests. We did a great job cooking. So now the hard part is plating because you want to impress. All right. All right. So my ceviche is going in the bowl. So if you have mixed green, please put a little bit of mixed green and a plate. And of course I don't have mixed green, but I'm gonna wing it. Okay, I have cilantro. I'm just saying. Okay. Okay, my brother Zach gonna go for shrimp. We like shrimp. My husband, he white. He like fish. We like shrimp. That's it. So you put your lettuce in there, in the bowl. Since I don't have lettuce, we're gonna improvise. You always need to improvise. I have a bunch of cilantro here. There we go. I'm gonna put it in the bottom. Someone is showing you what I'm doing. Oh. Okay. Oh. Here. Okay, look at my ceviche. Mm, smells so good. It smells so, so good. Like super good. Okay, I'm just saying. There we go. That's the fish. So now you can see it's pink. Okay, now you're ready to eat pink. You see, it was white before. So now it's pink. That's just your clue you can eat it, okay? Yes. Oh, Cindy, that's nice. That is very nice. And then you take the potato, sweet potato. Okay, one, two, three. This itself can be a meal. Okay. But I took the sweet potato um, and I made it chopped up short. So, and I did that and, and then let it sit all day with the can baby. I see it? Um, yeah. Oh. Yeah. So you get raw sweet potato to people? No, but no, no, I cooked it. I baked it. I baked it. I... <laughs> no, I don't want I... anybody to sue me here. My no, mom said, no, not wrong. <laughs> you to give, give raw sweet potato to people. No, no, I right. baked it. And, and then, then I, I have my corn. I cooked the corn. Okay, awesome. And then there I just, go. but I put in extra hot peppers, a lot more habaneros. 
Say? I did. That's good. Yeah, and tons of lime, tons. Yes, you have to put a lot of lime. And they were not even more um, beautiful. They were not very ripe, so you have to work and work and work those limes. Yes, yes. So, voila. Oh, okay. oh God, look at you. I know, I did it. What? Okay, so shrimp, fish, my brother, my husband, and me, shrimp too. <laughs> Daniel, you're gonna eat fish, okay? So, and and Brian's gonna eat fish. No, Brian don't like fish. Okay, shrimp. Oh, this is beautiful. That, Rebecca, this is nice. Thank you, Noah. Thank you. you, thank you. Oh my God, that's very beautiful. Okay. So, now the lomo saltado. You saw one plated. Oh, it's beautiful. So we're going to plate mine. Bring in my rice here. Have this little container. Okay. Huh? My husband is like, wash it, wash it. You're the one who are eating it, so I don't care. You didn't get it. <laughs> okay. So, where is. There we go. Okay. I'm putting in any ram can, anything will do. Okay. Voila. You're not putting it. Now I'm making a mess. There you go. And then you have your little piece go with it. What the fuck? Yeah. And then you're going to put a little bit of cilantro with it. Oh, my rice is broken. Cilantro, I like cilantro. Okay. My rice is broken, but it's look good. All right. So you got it? Any question, everybody? Any question before I go stuff my face? Thank you. I need to see your plate. Where's your plate? I need to see nobody's plate. So you can't leave until you show me your plate. I show you. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> beautiful, Jennifer. Oh, wow. oh, amazing. Tracy, amazing. Awesome. Okay. Ellen. Oh, <laughs> Freddy finished eating. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, beautiful. Ellen, it's beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. I hope you guys use heirloom tomato because it's heirloom tomato season. Yes. Isabella, this is beautiful. Oh my God, look at this. Beautiful. I'm so proud of you. You know, it's so healthy. Okay, when you don't put sugar everywhere. You know how we put sugar everywhere. I like Persian ceviche because it's healthier. Okay, and it's simple. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Okay, a community that cook together, stay together. Today, I got to know most of you. I am so happy. Yay, you know where to find you. me? 
Thank you. Thank you. And I will see you all <laughs> in two weeks because in winter winter park, park, okay? <laughs> and if you want to see me before in two weeks, you know where to find me, Mawa's Kitchen. Okay. Thank you, Mawa. Breakfast, Thank lunch, you. dinner. Um, happy anniversary. Happy Thank you so much. I love champagne. In case you didn't know, real champagne, you know, from France. <laughs> Give Daniel a big sweet. Don't send me those Prosecco. I don't like that. <laughs> I'm just saying, in case. <laughs> Thank you, Mawa. Thank you, Mawa. Yeah, thank you, guys. It was thank a pleasure. You. Bye -bye. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Okay. All right, let's start. Wait a minute. Hello? Can you hear me? Hi. So, I'm here in Snowmass. I grew up in LA. Uh huh. And if you ever want to come out, let me know. Will do. Thank you. And yeah. if you're back home, let us know. Oh God, I don't want to go back home. No? My dad lives in Agua Dulce. Okay. So I just don't, I don't like to go beyond the roundabout here, which is like 10 miles away. Especially now, there's no reason to well, leave. Well, I mean, we've all been locked up, right? Yeah. And I just don't go anywhere, but it, at all, but I mean, you know, I got my law. I have my law degree, and I, I but I just don't go anywhere. Oh. And your girls, look at them. Okay, that one on the left. I see you. <laughs> hey, <I'm just> <laughs> Hi. <laughs> yes, I'm trying to teach them to cook so that I can get a break now and then. Right. Oh. Seriously, and it's so much fun. And look at all your family. I mean, yeah, no, we. I'm sure, I mean, California has been locked down pretty, but much lately, correct? Yeah, it's been pretty, I mean, they were early to lockdown. My sister-in-law is here, actually, and she's from um, New York, and that's been, oh. you know, I mean, none of us can compare to that. But, I mean, it seems like, I mean, there's a little bit more coming, it seems. We've had more lately, which I is, so. I mean, I so. more cases. Yeah. So, because people are coming, and so that's, you know, it's going to happen. Is it like, yeah, yeah. We um, our second favorite place after Mawa's is Heather's, and we. Oh no, she got she got COVID. I know, I know. So. Yeah, and so they shut her. Oh, she shut herself down actually. Yeah. I mean, God bless her, poor thing. Um, she. There was an outbreak in basalt. There was. Okay. Yeah, and then now we've had eight cases. Um, eight cases in Aspen in the last uh, eight days or something like that. So it's just been sort of like weird because people are coming back. Yeah, yeah. And I feel so bad, but you know, God bless them because they stood up and said, hey, we have this, so, you know. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Yeah. Uh, but there's a lot of people here now, like for the other day, you know, it's in the market and somebody said, put on your masks. And they said, well, we don't do that. We're from Alabama. I don't care where you're from, dude, yeah. put on your masks. It doesn't really matter. I'm here with your masklessness. <laughs> I mean, it's just all about caring for another person, in my opinion, but. Well, stay healthy and safe. It was nice cooking with you. Yes, it was so much fun. Yeah, so, I, and I have so much food, I always give it away, but wow. fun. And I'm glad that y'all are here and look at your wonderful girls. I see you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys have a great night. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, honey. Bye.